Right, so I was just recruited by my mom to uh, do some sort of like tutorial video on how to record and how to upload them so that you can do your own remote teaching videos. I, I think that's a pretty good idea, so that's what we're doing today. Uh, I think you should should know more about me first though, before we go to make this a, a bit more interesting. So, uh, my name is Jason. And here's some, oh wow, that's a good one. Uh, <laughs> here's some photos of me. And, um, and, uh, yeah, so that's about it. And anyways, um, we're gonna start this now, I guess. We're, we're gonna get started with this. Right, so the first thing you wanna do is go to YouTube, you know, youtube.com. You want to sign into YouTube using your email account. And you press onto this box here at the top right, and you press create a channel. So it's going to say, uh, your creative journey begins, whatever, this doesn't matter, press get started. So I'm assuming that you're going to want to create a custom name, so press select. And this is what people will be able to search to find your channel. So just come up with something like witty or quirky or something, I don't really care. Um, like Clyde McBro, yeah, I can go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whatever. We're gonna just go with that. Please don't search this account up, ever. <laughs> okay, so it's gonna bring you to this. Uh, this is pretty useful, isn't it? Uh, upload a profile picture if you want a specific picture for your channel instead of just um, the first letter, like a C. That's pretty boring, but I don't have a profile picture. Here you go, channel description. Uh, this is where you tell um, your, it's like the description of your channel, so like, blah, 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 I do teaching stuff, these are the recordings of my teachings, so that you can watch them on, them on the interwebs. Okay, so, uh, these are like, if you want to, like, link to your own websites, like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I wouldn't do this unless you have like a business one because people will be able to um, click on these like random people that you don't even know because uh, they can stumble across your channel. So just if you want to, you can, but I don't. Now that you have your channel set up, go to your YouTube studio. Uh, go to, um, where is it at? It's settings. Then you want to go to channel and future eligibility and so here it's features that require phone verification videos over 15 minutes so I don't know about you but my mom has been uploading videos that are like even as much as 40 minutes long so you're gonna want to enable this or else they won't let you upload videos over 15 minutes so I'll click verify phone number uh, select your country text that's what I do and then you just put in your phone number here all right let me go annoy my mom you're gonna get it on your mobile device and you just want to put it in here and press submit all right there you go it's verified so now you can upload videos longer than 15 minutes now that you have your YouTube account set up we're gonna get you started with actually getting OBS so basically what you're gonna want to do is just look up OBS studio the obsproject.com uh, click on Windows. Uh, I have uh, FD. I have FDM, so you're gonna download it regularly. But I have a download manager that I like to use. Once it's done downloading, you just go to your downloads and then uh, just put it on your computer. Uh, you wanna do the setup and installation, and then when you're done, I already have it. When you're done. Uh, downloading it, it's going to lead you to a thing like this. So as you can see, there is uh, a lot going on here. Uh, and I'm going to do my best to run through how to set this up. So first of all, uh, you're going to want to create a new scene, right? So by doing this, you go to scenes at the, at the bottom left you click on this plus sign and just create one so now that your scene has been created there's going to be this source here and you want to correct you want to press this plus sign and uh it depends on what you want to do so um most of the time 
your well what my mom does anyway is she wants to record a screen so you just press display capture and that should record your screen I'll move OBS out of the way so you can see that it records your screen everything you do and then basically the next thing you want to do once you have that set up is you go into your settings here at the bottom right you go to output recording and you're going to want to set this recording path so basically what the recording path does is um, it sets it so that when you record a video the file will go instantly to a folder so I'm going to create a new folder on my desktop you can call it whatever you want, I just called it recordings. Uh, go back in your settings, um, output, recording. And here in this recording path thing near the top, you want to press browse. Once you click it, uh, search for your file there. So recordings would be here. And then press select folder. So now I'm going to, well, so now that you have that set up, there's this mic slash aux here and you want to press on the gear below it and go to properties and just make sure that it's set to whatever microphone you're using so right now I'm using an XLR microphone that goes under this name but I also have three other microphones so you just um, choose the one that you want to use and then you click on it and press OK so that, it, so that the um, application can pick up that you're, you're speaking right so I'm going to start a recording to show you how it works Hello, this is um, testing one two three one two three one two three. I am Jason from outer space, recording the next transmission dialogue that will be sent through time capsule via space and time. Okay, that's enough. Um, <laughs> so it's here. It's in recordings. I'm just gonna double click you to show what it recorded. Hello, this is um, testing one two three one two three one two three. I am Jason from Outer Space, recording the next transmission dialogue that will be sent through time capsule via space and time. Okay, that's enough. Alright, as you can see, I was just rambling about nonsense, but that shows that the video is done. Uh, once you're satisfied with your video recording, you want to go to your YouTube channel and... Uh, right here at the top right, it doesn't matter where you are, all of YouTube shows this. It's like this camera with a plus sign. So you press upload video. And you select a file. Uh, it's probably going to be in your uh, in your downloads, right? In recordings. So it's probably going to be where your recording file is. So you just click on it. Click the video and press open. Uh, YouTube will now start uploading the video you just recorded. So this is where you like customize your video. The most exciting part, arguably. <laughs> so you're going to want to describe what this video is. Uh, if I go to me and my mom's channel, which you can find learning with freebie. You go here, right? You can see we have it set up a certain way. So this uh, has CKLA, Listening and Learning, Domain 9, Lesson 3, and then the topic, which is Fairy Tales. You can do this if you want. Uh, it's what works for us. But really, you just want to uh, set up a video title that describes your video and explains it in a way that viewers can find it easily. Uh, so uh, I'm just going to do an example. CKLA, right, Listening and Learning. Uh, let's see, domain 42, lesson 89, sure. How to clean a car, <laughs> okay. So that's what we're going with. Uh, you want to set this so it's not made for kids. Obviously it is, right? But you have to lie or else if you check that it's made for kids, YouTube will take it down uh, due to the uh, COPPA Privacy Protection Act because something was going on about like improper children rights or something it doesn't really matter just the bottom line just select it's not made for kids and then so you can upload a thumbnail if you want but i don't i just keep it how it's set description this video is about how to clean a suv car from the exterior to the interior 
Right, that's about the most random thing I could come up with, so that's perfect. Press next. Uh, this doesn't really matter. Press next. Okay, set it to public or else nobody will see your video. And then press publish. And now your very own YouTube video has been published. So now we're going to talk to um, mom now. She's going to take over the video. She is going to tell you about how she actually... Uh, like what the contents of your videos are so you now know how to record and upload a video but you don't know really what to record if that makes any sense or at least i'm assuming so that's what she's going to do now she's going to run through her creative process and how she comes up with the plans and the content of her videos so that's it for me uh handing it off to her okay to start with i have this blank google docs document and I've been displaying my learning goal up here. And I'll show you later how to get that. But for right now, I can change my learning goal. It says, I can create um, CKLA listening and learning videos. And upload them to YouTube. There you go. Uh, well, it's not really a standard, so I won't put that in there. But then I'm using this and, and mentioning that this is my learning goal. I try to remember to mention that at the beginning and at the end of my video, along with you know, a statement about, you know, the fact that I'm currently, we're reading fairy tales, for example, so I would make a, a statement about that this is fairy tales and what lesson is. Um, so I've, I've actually been very fortunate because I have the, um, let's see if I can get it going here. I have the manuals currently. Uh, but I only have the fairy tale manuals. I I don't actually have the other one, so I'm gonna have to switch to using a separate computer. I'm just gonna turn my computer so you can see the other computer to get the manuals. <laughs> and the reason I need to use a second computer to bring up the manual is is because I can't display the story, the flip book, at the same time that I'm reading the manual. So I have a preference for Google Chrome. So I'm just going to open Chrome now. Uh, once Chrome is open, I'm going to look for Engage New York. So right here in the search bar, I'm going to Engage New York. And click on that one. And then I'm going to bring this down and I'm going to go to the first grade language arts program and go into listening and learning strand. Um, and then I'm going to bring that down. Um, my next one after fairy tales is going to be a new nation, American independence. So I'm clicking on that. And on this computer, I want the manual. So I'm going to click here and then I'll go down here and install this by double clicking on this. Oops, clicked it one too many times there. I'm just gonna open one copy of it. And for me, I'm actually gonna save this so that I have it. So I'm gonna print, push the download portion there and it opens it up so I can see what I'm gonna put on here. And I want it so it's easy for me. So I'm gonna put it right on my desktop and I'm going to name it, um, oops, I don't know, uh, a new nation manual. So that way, now I know where to find the manual and it's going to open in a different browser. So I'm going to close this, close this, go to my desktop. It's stored under this PDF. Double click on that and then it's going to open in um internet explorer down here so new nation this is going to have um the actual manual that that i don't currently have here 
So I'll actually have to have two computers sitting side by side so that I can read the stories as I go along. So I'm going down. I'm not actually doing anything with the pausing points or or the domain assessments right now because, you know, this is all kind of last minute. Well, you know, the crisis that the country's in right now, um, we're not really taking grades in our district. So um, before I start recording, I actually go through these different objectives. Um, I don't necessarily read the story, but this right here, it gives me four or five different standards to choose from. Those are the standards I'm choosing to put up on my ICANN statements. So for this one, um, I'm, I might put this, it, it just depends on what I'm, you know, what I read out of this lesson and what I feel is the most important. Or I might say I can compare and contrast um, indentured servants and slaves in the new world. So that will probably be um, my learning goal for this particular lesson. But it really depends on what's in the lesson. So um, I, I don't necessarily spend a lot of time um, previewing what the story itself says, but I'm really interested in what's in the introduction, um, also where we are. I do use the world maps or globes. I, I try to inc include mapping in, in every lesson that I'm doing. Um, and I, the timeline, um, well, I'll have to read through that to know for sure what I'm going to do with the timeline. Um, and the purpose of the, for listening, this is usually the first place I'm going to start reading. So I, I really am reading, um, most of that on my videos. And of course I'm going through the story. Um, and then I am paying careful attention to what I'm seeing at, at, for part B. Uh, these extensions, they're, they're really ma mandatory for most of them. I mean, there's some of them I just can't do from home, but whatever I can do, I'm trying to include into my lessons. Okay, so the manuals, this is just going to be the manual for me. It's kind of interesting because now I downloaded it, I actually can um, either add highlighting to my book um, if I feel it necessary, I can highlight this first, for example, or I can write page numbers here. So when I'm videotaping, I can go directly to the page number, uh, say page 35. Oops, that's terrible. Wow. I can't believe I just did that. Well, you get the point anyway. It's really hard to use because I don't have a stylus for it right now. Um, but that's this portion. This is just the manual for me to read from. Okay. So then the rest of it is actually done on my computer. And I'm going to switch the screen um, down here instead of displaying the video um, camera up here. It's going to display capture, which means that it's going to, you, now you can only see what's on my screen. Hopefully you can't really see me anymore. Um, let's see, no, it's not doing it yet, so I don't want that one there. I only want what's on the screen. So, um, again, I, I start with my learning goal and then on this computer, um, I'm going to go into, um, this is where I'm currently working on fairy tales. But we're coming to a close on that pretty soon, so I will go ahead and open up Engage, Engage New York on here, right here. Double-click that one, if it'll click, okay. And then again, I'm going to bring it down and go to first grade, right here. I'm still on the listening and learning strand, but I don't want the manual on here. Let's see, I'm still going to a new nation. Um, what I want on this one is the flip book. So I'm double clicking on that. I'm going to go down here. Uh, I'm going to click on here. 
and then I have the flip book and once again I'm still going to save this so that it is um, on my desktop so we're gonna go um, uh, a new nation flip something like that and and I don't want it in the documents I actually want it on my desktop so I can have it on the so I know where it's a quick find so I can just go back to my desktop right here and find a new nation flip and this is going to bring up the the actual flip book okay so here's the flip book um, and this is what what the students are going to see when they are um, looking at my stories okay so one thing is like with fairy tales I'm gonna have the red diagram um, and even with this in, in order to get this next part you actually have to have access to um, the CKLA website um, and specifically you need to have um, access to the second edition so if you don't have access to the second edition you may not be able to get the digital uh, components let's see if we can get it on here though let's see if I go here yeah you can get the image um, but there's no digital components so so with this last portion you have to go on to M class um, and it, again it unfortunately is only going to work if you have addition to no that's not it yeah it is okay so I'm gonna log in here and then um, well this is gonna save me some time later on cuz I already have it done go to grade level materials grade one I'm going to go to the knowledge portion. We are going to be in knowledge 9, 10, knowledge 10 here. And then right here, it's going to give me these digital components. So for this, um, I'm going to, again, download it. So I need, oops. Um, a new nation digital so I'm saving that to my desktop um, and I'm going to close this version of it so that I have it in um, Explorer so then I'm going to find it here up here it'll be the last one I added um, and then bring this down and there's going to be digital components that goes with it um, so like here's the map the 13 colonies here um and we've seen this many times somebody wanted but so then um but what that looks like for fairy tales it, it looks a little different um so this is what it looks like and you know i actually <laughs> I have the ability to write on here, but just like we've seen with that, it's very sloppy. So uh, because I, I can use this pen or I actually have a touch screen so I can write on it when once upon a time. But as you can tell, it's really difficult for me to read it. And I, I can't expect these students to read it. And my son suggested, so Jason told me to go to... Um, uh, a snipping tool get a snipping tool and then you're gonna snip it out so as an example I would snip this one for, for example and then I'm gonna hit file and save it as and it's gonna be fairy tales um, well let's see this one actually was Sleeping Beauty. And you can see I already did that. I already have Sleeping Beauty there. So then after I saved it, no, I don't need that anymore. I'm gonna go to um, Paint. 
and I'm going to open my paint program up and then I'm open my files up I want to go to pictures and right here I found Sleeping Beauty and I'm going to just drag it out and put it into the paint program so that way I can type on it instead of using a stylist or a writing utensil so I can open that up if I go to view I can zoom in so it makes it bigger or zoom out to make it smaller kind of depends on what you want to do and click on this this a right here and it will give me a text a text box so for example when when did this story take place once upon a time or a long time ago okay so um that pretty much gives you an idea as to uh, the steps that I've taken in, in how to make these, um, these videos for my students. Um, and then at this point, you know, I, once I have everything set up, I have um, in the background, I have my, usually I have my I can statement right here. And then um, I make sure that whatever I'm going to do next, you know, whether it's the actual story, I have that open and ready to go. Um, and, and, you know, depending on what you're doing for that day, you're going to have to open up globes or maps. You can have that open and ready to go. Once I have everything ready to go, I open up the OBS and I push the, well, I can't do it right now, but I push the start recording button that, that would be here instead of, instead of stop because it's currently running. So if I hit it now, it's just going to stop the video. I uh, teach my reading goal and then I teach the, you know, I read the story. I teach whatever I'm going to teach. And at the end there, I hit the stop and then I give the, uh, the completed video back to my son for him to to work his magic and get it back up, uploaded to YouTube. Um, I, I hope that uh, um, you're finding that these videos are helpful to you. And if there's any questions, of course, drop me a line and let me know.